Hi everyone. So sorry I look a little bit like crap right now. I, I would normally say just like Happy New Year, super excited, but fortunately this new year hasn't started off on exactly the right foot. Um, so I just had my first, it's January 1st, I just had my first urgent care visit of the year. Um, so yeah, I can already tell this year is going to be fun <laughs> or maybe decade. But anyway, so yesterday, this didn't even happen today, yesterday, we were getting ready for the New Year's party. Um, there are two urns in the front of our like doorstep area and the, they had um, old poinsettias in there that were kind of like died off. So I replaced them with the other set that we had that looked fresher, newer. Um, but when I was doing that, I had to take um, the one urn, actually both of them, but the one in particular, they're full of water. So I was kind of pushing the urn over, dumping it out. And the urns are actually a lot heavier than you would expect. So when they, when I was kind of bringing it back, I was holding it and it kind of, um, it came back really fast and it's kind of like crushed my thumb. So immediately it was uh, really in a lot of pain. Um, not this hand, my right hand, which I'll show you. Um, so immediately it was definitely a lot of pain, a lot of blood, um, and I was really, um, I don't know, I was just hurting. I called John right away. I wasn't sure what to do, but um, you know, I was just, I, immediately it started to bruise and swell up a little bit. And then I just kind of uh, wait a little bit, not sure what to do, and just kind of you know rinse it off a little bit. But then I just had to carry on with the day because we had an awesome New Year's party that we were planning for, and so I wanted to get everything set up. Um, so I, everything was going fine, and you know the the blood had had gone away, um, the bruising was going on, but I just kind of figured, all right, you know, I'll go away in time. So then later in the night, maybe around ten o'clock, eleven o'clock, all of a sudden my thumb just started throbbing super badly. And so I thought that was strange. I don't know if that had to do with something to do with the drinking because we were partying a bit. Um, and then, you know, I just forgot it about after a while. And then right before I went to sleep, it just, it was throbbing nonstop. So I didn't take any medication or anything like that. And I, I was drinking, I didn't want to really mix things. Um, but I just kept thinking, you know, what is going on? So, and I told to one person uh, what was going on and she said, you know, it could be a break or something like that. So I was, of course, Googling things right before I went to sleep and trying to take pictures in the dark of, of what my thumb looked like. Um, so I decided that right in the morning, I would you know, see how I was looking and then just go to the urgent care if it was open. So woke up this morning, um, still got my makeup on from last night, whatever's left of it, eyelashes off, but it's, yeah, so uh, this is what's left of a fun night. <laughs> but anyway, so went over to urgent care, and so they took an x-ray, and then for the bruising on the thumb, um, they they did some sort of, uh, I don't know what it was called, but they kind of, uh, on the thumb, they used this like, I don't know, I what, what what's it? It was like a some sort of like long device, and they like burned into the nail to get because you know with all the the blood that was on the nail, they wanted to create a hole. So the device was um, like that, uh, maybe like that long, um, and at the end of it was like this. It looked like metal, but it, it was it almost looked like. Um, like when you stick, say like a, like a metal rod into like the fire, I don't know, like in the like w the old movies when they're making swords and stuff like that. So it was like, I don't know, it was like orange, but not like on like a flame, but it looked like it was burning. So anyway, they burned the a hole into it. So immediately there was like a giant black mark. I was really freaking out. Like how long is this gonna take to recover from? It looks hideous. Um, but then after a few moments, um, she was. Uh, pressing on to get the blood out of it, which was definitely painful. Actually, the the burning part is funny. I, I was asking, you know, what is that going to feel like? And I really didn't feel the burning part at all, so that was nice. But then just more the pressing on to get the blood out, it was uh, the painful part. So um, after that, the the hole looked quite small. So what now? I have to watch out for signs of infection um, from the the area where the hole was made, and they. Uh, she was able to get a lot of the blood out, so that was good. Um, so then the with the x-ray, um, the x-ray came back as um, a questionable Tufts fracture, Tuft fracture, T-U-F-T, 
I don't know, possibly, yes, something like that, some sort of fracture. So uh, that was from the radiologist. So the radiologist, says, that was just pre preliminary review. So the radiologist will do a full review. Um, in the meantime, I got this handy dandy splint <laughs> set up. So I'm a little freaked out about um, what I can do for work because when I'm working all day long, I'm pretty much typing. I'm definitely using this a lot. I'm not working, I'm on my phone and you know pressing that button a lot. So I'm not sure how everything's gonna go. Right now I'm using my left hand a lot for things. I mean, it's just, it's amazing how much you use your thumb. And um, that's one reason I, I really figured that I need to go there and get this situated because um, I use it for everything. I mean, if you're like putting your bra on, if you're um, putting the seatbelt on, for trying to even turn the key for the car is difficult. So, um, I mean, she said, it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, whether it's a, it's a, whatever's going on with it, um, it should only take maybe a couple weeks to recover from. But the only frustrating thing is that, how can I work out like this for lifting weights? So, um, you know, January 1st, you want to get rearing to go, you want to get uh, working out and back in shape and all that stuff. And so, a little frustrated with that. I definitely, um, I guess what I'm, with Zena walking her since she pulls so much, I'll probably be using my left hand. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on right now. And I guess I just have to wait to hear back. Oh, I'm supposed to ice it and I'm supposed to take um, ibuprofen. So, um, and I have to follow up with uh, an orthopedic doctor. So, I'll have to make an appointment for that and then see what they say. Um, I don't know if I have, I'm not sure what the orthopedic doctor is for, but um, I guess when there's any type of fracture involved, they refer to the orthopedic doctors they're saying. So anyway, get that checked out. Otherwise, happy new year. <laughs> and I hope your new year's off to a better start than mine. So if you like this video, um, well, I don't know if you could really like this video, but if you enjoy watching, um, please like, share, and subscribe. And otherwise, we'll see you soon. All right, so this is the urn that possibly broke my finger. So I was holding it like this, pushing it over to this way to dump it out. And then all of a sudden it just came flying back and it hit my thumb against this thing, so. Thank you.